All right, so in this episode, we're gonna be discussing how to find work. My name is Dan and this is Viking Designs. Okay, so in this app, we're gonna be talking about how to find work, how to generate leads. This is such an essential part of running a small business. You need to learn how to do this stuff. Now, look, there are a heap of different ways. I'm gonna tell you my preferred way is straight out of the gates, no big build up, none of that shit. Here it is, my number one way of generating work, Facebook community groups. Okay, see ya. This is hands down the best way in my opinion. By joining a community group, you know all these people are in your area. Facebook is overwhelmingly occupied by boomers. They are generally the ones that own homes. They are generally the ones that have money in the bank. They can actually afford your services. I probably generate like 80% of my leads from Facebook community groups. I'm talking hundreds of thousands of dollars made from these community groups. The word of mouth from these groups is amazing too. You do a good job and somebody else is asking for the best electrician in town, they're gonna give them your number. Our local group has like over 50,000 members. Plus you can generally advertise on these groups for free. Maybe it's just like once a week or whatever, but yeah, it's a, it's a great, great resource. And if you're not already on these groups, you definitely should be. Now, number two is paid promotions, uh, either via Facebook or Instagram. Here you can run targeted ads. Look, I don't use these a whole lot, although I have had a fair bit of success with them. I spent like $35 and got about $90,000 worth of work. That's a pretty healthy ROI right there. It definitely works, um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm a bit of a tight ass. I don't, I don't really like paying for this stuff if I don't have to, and I, I find the community groups work just as well, so yeah. But you may not have a community group in your area, so these targeted ads on Facebook and Instagram definitely do work. You can generate a lot with the tiny spend. So depending on how tech savvy you are, you may wanna get a professional in to help you run these ads. Wouldn't be a big cost at all and it probably would get you a better return. So yeah, that's, that's also an option there. Number three, word of mouth. I mean, word of mouth, this one is massive too. People are more than happy to share good experiences and and if you are one of those good experiences, if you were a tradie or a contractor that came in, did what you promised, were clean, were tidy, were polite, um, people will recommend you. It's as simple as that. So it's pretty easy, just do a good job and people will talk. That's, that's just how it goes. Now look, if you are new to business, you will eventually hit the point where leads will just roll in without you constantly having to chase them. However, this does take a while. I know a guy whose phone is constantly ringing and he never advertises, but he's been at it for over a decade. He's built up a name, so you know, you gotta put in the hard yards and eventually you will hit that point where enough people know about you and the work just rolls in. Getting through those first few years in business, man, it is super, super tough. If you are in business for yourself, I mean, yeah, I got a lot of respect for you. It is an absolute grind. But anyway, for number four, something that got us through some pretty hard times early on was subcontracting for companies that were doing similar work to what we were doing. So us as carpenters, we found a company that was selling these pergolas and, and we would go out and be the installer. So we found a company that was in our industry building pergolas. You could look for a company that is in your industry or your trade that offer what you do and just approach them. Ask if they need a subcontractor or an installer. That type of work got us through the first like one to two years of being in business. And without it, I don't know, I think we really, really would have struggled. It wasn't exactly what we wanted to be doing, but it was paying the bills, it was putting food on the table. So yeah, I, I would recommend it. And lastly, if you're really desperate, like I have been at times, you could try those trade directory sites. You know the ones, generally gotta pay for the opportunity to go out and do a quote. 
Look, I'm not a big fan of them personally. Did get a few jobs using them. I just don't like having to pay for the opportunity to then go out and quote. So, you know, I paid to get a lead and then I spent hours quoting and then I, I, it just really didn't sit right with me. But we did land a few jobs through it and it did get us through some kind of hard times. But I kind of gave it the flick as soon as possible because I just really wasn't feeling it. I didn't really feel like it had our best interests at heart. Felt like it was more of a money grab. So, I mean, look, if you're desperate, it's definitely an option. That is generally the last resort for us. I try to avoid that if I can. Anyway, look, I hope this helped you guys even just a little bit. Hit up those Facebook community groups. It's free. Heaps of boomers on Facebook and I, I just think it's the best way to do it. If this video has helped at all, please share it. Uh, please like or subscribe, you know the deal. Thanks for watching and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. All right, today we're gonna be talking about, fuck that screen. Fuck this screen. Samsung, do not buy it, it's a piece of shit. Always just goes black for no reason. And then it comes on again and then it goes black like that. <laughs>